I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be listing my favorite animated movies. I will be listing my favorite movies from both Pixar and DreamWorks. Let's get into the video. The first one I'm going to be listing is the Toy Story franchise. All three Toy Story films are my favorites. However, my favorite one of the franchise is Toy Story 3 because I feel it has the most action. I especially love Lotso the Bear. He is the main antagonist of Toy Story 3. I also love Sid's reaction when he finds out that the toys were alive in the first one. I can't believe that in the third one, Andy goes from being a little boy to a teenager. I wonder what the fourth movie coming out next year will be about. My guess is that they're going to start a new life at Bonnie's. My next favorite animated film is Finding Nemo. Now, this one might be my all-time favorite of them all. It might also be the most beloved one of all. I love how not only Nemo learns along the way not to depend on Marlin so much and live like an adult, but how Marlin learns not to be so overprotective of Nemo. However, those three friends that Nemo made in the beginning were such bad influences on him. The only reason why Nemo got into trouble and got captured by divers in the first place was because of them. To be honest, I would never want my children to have friends like that. Dory might be the most interesting character of them all because she is not only the crazy lady type, but she has short-term memory loss. I also love Ellen DeGeneres, and I actually want to go on The Ellen Show someday. The sequel, Finding Dory, was also good, but not as good as the original. However, I love how they tell Dory's backstory in the sequel. My next favorite animated film is Coraline. Coraline is actually a Henry Selleck film, kind of like The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's basically an animated horror movie. I love how the other world goes from being Coraline's dream world to being an evil trap where she can't escape. I love how the other mother expresses her true colors along the way, going from being your average mother who happens to have buttons for eyes to a monstrous spider-like witch. Coraline's real mom did the right thing by locking the door to the other world but Coraline ended up disobeying her and ended up being trapped there. This movie taught me that not everyone is as nice as they seem, and that some doors should, well, never be opened. I will now be listing my second favorite of them all, Up. I love Up partially because it's about dogs. The dogs even have talking collars that make it so humans can understand their thoughts. I also love the bond that Carl and Russell have along the way, and that Doug learns how to be a good dog rather than a bad one once he meets Carl, Russell, and Kevin. However, one thing I find weird is that they named a female bird Kevin. Kevin is a boy's name, not a girl's name. Another thing I loved was when the Doberman's voice sounded like a chipmunk. That was funny. Lastly. Doug was my favorite character in this movie because I love Golden Retrievers and their temperament. Doug's Golden Retrieverness was so realistic in this. I still have yet to see the short called Doug's Special Mission, but I absolutely love the movie Up. The next movie I'll be listing is Tangled. Of course, I love Rapunzel because I have been wanting long hair for a couple of years now. My hair is actually really long now. It's almost waist length. Anyways, I loved how Rapunzel used her hair to help people get up into the tower. However, I did not like that her adoptive mother, who's a witch, would never let her leave the tower. That is a form of isolation. Imagine never being allowed to go outside and into the world. Overall, Tangled is a beautiful film. The next one I will be listing is Frozen. Now, this is a beautiful movie. 
I love how the song Elsa sang in that one scene, called Let It Go, became an actual hit song. I also love how the film explains what true love is. Anna thought Hans was her soulmate when he really wasn't. It was just cruel when he put out all sources of warmth after seeing the condition Anna was in. She was clearly weak and freezing and needed warmth and comfort. My favorite character was Olaf the Snowman because he was just so lovable and caring. This film taught me that true love means loving someone in general, not just romantic love. This film teaches many life lessons about love and relationships. The next one I will be listing is Zootopia. I love how this movie tells people that they can do anything they want to, regardless of how big or small they are. That's pretty much all I have to say about this one. The last one I will be listing is The Secret Life of Pets. This one is like Toy Story, but with pets instead of toys. I love dogs and other animals, so I had to put this one on the list. I love how in this movie, jealousy transform into love. Also, Gidget's crush on Max is adorable. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me list my favorite animated films. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to share your favorite animated films in the comments below. Before I go, I need to let you know that this will be my last sit down video for at least the next few weeks. The next few weeks will be very eventful for me, especially the month of May. So my next few videos will be vlogs. Thank you for watching. Bye.